G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now as you can tell by today's uh, video thumbnail that uh, today I'm going to be talking about how to dispose of your LiPos, NICADs, whatever batteries you use in RC the correct way. Well, this is the way that I do it anyway. Um, I know there's different ways of doing it. You can hook up the batteries to a light bulb and get it to discharge that way. And there's plenty of other ways, but I usually use the salt water trick. Yeah, the purpose of this video is I was actually meant to make one of these videos a while back. I uh, disposed of some batteries a couple of months back, um, just after summer. I had some uh, bad lipos that were puffy, ones that no longer, you know, dead cells and stuff like that. So uh, I actually forgot to make a video. Usually I put my batteries or lipos and so forth in a 10 litre uh, bucket not a small container like this. So um, anyway, today what I was doing uh, was just checking some uh, old batteries that I got, mainly uh, nickel metal hydride and NICAD packs that I had in one of my LiPo bags alongside with some one cell batteries that I hardly use anymore. But uh, I thought I'll go through them today because the weather's been pretty awful here the last few days. It's been like, you know, wet, windy, raining all the time. So couldn't really go out and make videos. So. Uh, Anyway, I was going through some of my batteries here. Uh, this one was is okay. I charged them up. I tested them out. These ones are pretty good. They hold the charge. Um, but this one here in the background um, is no good. Uh, this is a 7.2 volt uh, NICAD pack. And um, I put the uh, multimeter on the end of the plug here and checked the voltages that it was sitting at. And it only showed... I think it was 4.28 volts, so it was really low. This is a 7.2 volt pack. So I googled uh, what a 7.2 volt NICAD pack fully charged should be, and I believe it said 8.7 volts to 9 volts. So uh, I tried charging this up on my hobby grade charger, and the hobby grade charger just said uh, battery low voltage. So I tried again and it said connection loss. So it wouldn't actually recognize it, this uh, battery to charge it, even though it was on the NICAD setting. I was trying to charge it at half an amp. Uh, so anyway, I'll put on the trickle charger, one of those USB trickle chargers with this plug uh, that's rated for this 7.2 volt one. And uh, I managed to trickle charge it up to, I think it was close to six volts. And then I was able to charge the rest of it up on my hobby grade charger actually noticed it uh, at that voltage so it charged up really quickly and at the end I put the multimeter back on it and it only showed uh, 8.2 volt so I tested it out and uh, just as I suspected I, I had a feeling this one was a dud because it was really low on voltage at 4.28 to start off with uh, I tested it out in an RC car and it just ran for like 20 seconds at pretty much full power and then just died died off straight away so so what i'm going to do i'm going to dispose this one guys and uh i've got a couple of lipos here that i found as well here's a little a puffy uh one cell i think it's 150 milliamp hour just from one of those little uh jjrc whoop style uh toy grade quads okay so as you see that's a little ticking time bomb there you don't want me. i found another x5c battery this is a rather old battery. I think the last time I used this one was to power up a all-in-one camera, FPV camera. So as you can see, 600 milliamp hours, and that's puffy as well. So definitely want to get rid of that. And as you can see here, it tells you on the back, basically with a diagram, do not throw these in the bin. All right, especially if they got charge in them. Now, this one, I checked it out, and it had 3.89 volts. So it's just above storage rate. This one here, I checked it, and it didn't give a reading at all. So, all right, guys. So these three, I'm going to throw in the water. Now, all you need is some, I just used some table salt, okay? Uh, I've already put some salt in there. So you just want a, a container of water or a bucket of water and just put some table salt in there. This is the way I discharge my lipos, and it seems to work rather well. Okay, give it a bit of a mix. All right, and we'll start putting these batteries in. So you basically just put them in. Okay, there was uh, a friend of mine that was wondering if uh, 
once you put them in salt water, I was talking to him the other day, uh, John Robinson actually, he was wondering if that would explode by being in water. So, as you can see, you're not going to get a shock or anything like that. And you just leave them in water, guys. Now, like I said, I don't usually use uh, a container like this. I'm just doing it for the purpose of this video so you can see what's going on. Okay, so I'll let that sit for a while. And slowly what we should see are some bubbles forming, uh, mainly out of the actual leads. Uh, it should be like you know, soft drink uh, bubbles, like those fizzy bubbles that you get in a soft drink. Or soda drink, as you say in the US, you know. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to see coming out of the actual plugs themselves. And basically all you do is leave uh, these batteries for as long as those bubbles disappear. Okay, guys, so I've just positioned the batteries a little bit. I'll put the NICAD on the bottom. And we've got the LiPos on the top. Now, this is a perfect example of what I was just telling you. Let me just zoom in there. So as you can see, this um, NICAD battery still has around seven volts in it after I tested it out. And as you can see, those bubbles are coming out really quickly, just like a soft drink. You would see it on a can of Coke or something, all right? So what you're actually looking at here is uh, the chemicals in the battery itself are getting released and reacting with the salt water and it's discharging all right guys so just like i said it's like a a fizzy drink a soda you know like opening up a can of coke and you see all them bubbles all right and you can see little streaks of see that yellow bit of chemical coming out a little streak there floating in the water you're going to see that come out of the battery as, as you can see the plug you see that little bit of uh yellow film coming out of it that's the chemicals being released the nickel i guess and the cadmium all right so you're going to see a bit of that as it's discharging so what you do you just leave them you know let's have a look at the lipo i can't see anything there the water is a bit murky because i put heaps of salt in there i think i just saw a little bubble but this one had no charge in it when i put the multimeter on it anyway so it doesn't really matter any coming out of here? Uh, a little bit. There's a bubble there floating, but uh, yeah, that's all you do, guys. You just leave, let these sit in a bucket of water. Like last time, like I told you, last time I had quite a few two cells, uh, batteries, three cells. I had, I think, two, three cells, a bunch of one cells like this as well. And uh, this is how to dispose of them. I had a nickel metal hydride or NICAD. Nickel metal hydride, I think, the ones that you get with the uh, 110 scale HSP buggies. I had a couple of them that were no good. And, uh, yeah, this is the way I actually uh, disposed of them, all right, guys? So that's all you do. You just sit back, just leave it. Go do your normal thing at home. Make sure you leave these outside. I'm in the actual shed at the moment. And then, you know, it might take a few hours for it to totally discharge. It might take all day, depending on how many milliamp hours the battery is. But uh, basically, you just let them sit until those bubbles are gone. And that's the way you dispose of your batteries, guys. You take them out of the water and uh send them off to you know your local recycling depot all right guys so this is how i uh dispose of my batteries this is how i discharge my batteries i don't bother trying to hook them up to any light bulbs or anything like that not saying that that is the wrong way to do it i just yeah i just rather put them in water let them sit heaps of salt water just let them discharge on their own forget them come back later and uh dispose of them in the correct manner all right guys so anyway hope this video helped you or gave you a bit of an insight on one way of uh disposing your rc batteries the correct and safest way and uh yeah if it did help you feel free to give this video a like should sure appreciate it put your comments below do you do this method of the salt water in the bucket trick or do you do it some other way 
let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. All right, guys. Thanks very much. Bye for now.